ovarian teratoma, and infertility. Teratoma is a congenital disease. However, it is not a hereditary disease. It occurs because there are two embryos. One embryo, the patient, is born, while the other embryo remains in the ovary. It gradually grows with age. Teratomas can contain mesodermal tissue, ectodermal tissue, and sometimes even hair, fat, bones, teeth, and internal organs. The presence of these things not only mechanically affects ovulation, but some teratomas also have certain secretory functions. For example, they can secrete excessive adrenaline, leading to hypertension. Secrete excessive estrogen, causing menstrual irregularities. And secrete thyroid hormones, causing abnormal growth. Patients with teratomas often seek medical attention due to infertility or acute abdominal pain, ovarian torsion. Teratomas are rarely detected before marriage. Only a few special and exceptionally large tumors may draw the attention of parents. Usually, patients come for treatment when they are of marriageable age and unable to conceive. Teratomas can be benign or malignant. However, whether benign or malignant, the ovary does not need to be removed. Because even if it is malignant, it is malignant tissue on the teratoma. It generally does not cause implantation and metastasis of the host. So there is no need to remove the ovary. Teratomas can be thoroughly removed under 3D laparoscopy, minimizing contamination of the pelvic cavity. Recurrence after surgery is generally rare. Of course, some people may have recurrence on the other side after surgery. Because the small teratoma on the other side was not found during treatment. Therefore, the surgical principle is that while removing the large teratoma on one side, the ovary on the other side must be checked for small teratomas. If found, they should be removed at the same time to prevent recurrence. After treatment, fertility can fully recover to normal. And reproduction is not affected. However, at the same time, it is necessary to check for uterine malformations such as mediastinum, cervical incompetence, infantile uterus, bicornuate uterus, etc. And also check the patency of the fallopian tubes, whether there are adhesions or fatty sagging, and whether there is endometriosis in the pelvic cavity. All these problems should be treated comprehensively. Beijing Anti Hospital's 3D laparoscopy is highly accurate and thorough and biologic anti-adhesion measures are applied to prevent the formation of new adhesions at the surgical site.